Okay, this is our last makeup video here. We're going to be looking at dealing with compounds and not just atoms. So I'm going to draw calcium chloride here. So CaCl2. And we'll do water, H2O. And maybe we can do one more. Let's do C6H12O6. These are good examples. Well, first of all, you know, we have two different kinds of compounds here that we've studied in the past. This one here is ionic. And this one's covalent. And of course, this one down here is also covalent. Now, covalent means we're sharing electrons and ionic means we're uh, transferring electrons. And we did use electronegativity to figure that out, but we're not too worried about that right now. I want you to understand something. If we have a compound, we can't call this atoms. We can't say calcium chloride atoms. This is an ionic compound and its name is formula unit. Water and uh, glucose are covalent and they're going to be called molecules. So we can't say these are atoms of water and atoms of glucose. We're going to say molecules. And I want to point out to you that the 6.02 E23 number is associated with these guys, just like atoms would be. So we can't call these atoms since they're compounds. But you'll just for language sake, you might see formula units or molecules. Treat them the same way calculation-wise as atoms. Let's get started. I have another simulation for us. It says determine the molar mass of CS2. Okay, so this means I have one carbon and I have two sulfurs. Now, of course, I'll go to the periodic table. I've got one carbon, which is 12.011, and I have two sulfurs, which is 32.06. And of course, I'm gonna multiply those out and I'm gonna add them together. And I will get an answer of 76.131 grams. And that's the molar mass, okay, for CS2. Okay, now, the question says convert the mass into moles. So what are we doing? So we go to the simulation. Okay, I'm gonna hit the green arrow. Okay, it added some CS2 to this. Okay, the molar mass is 76.13. That confirmed our calculation. Now it does say convert the mass uh, into moles. So I'm gonna click the mass button here. And it says I have 24.7 grams that I need to convert okay into moles so let's go back so 24.7 and that's grams of cs2 and i need to go into moles of cs2 i know this is going to be a one stepper so i can times this one then by one mole of cs2 and I'm going to divide this by the molar mass, 76.131 grams. Why did I know to divide by the molar mass? I've got grams here. That means to really cross off my grams on the bottom. So whatever is here goes on the bottom here, and whatever is here must be on top here. Okay, so that gives us 24.7 divided by 76. Uh, 0.131, that's 0.324 moles. Okay, the next one, determine the molar mass for PBS. So that's 1 PB at 207.2 and 1 sulfur at 32.06. When we add those together, we get uh, 239.3. 239.3 grams PBS. Now this next question, convert formula units in grams. I do not see the word mole in this question. So I know it's gonna be a two-stepper. So I can start here. And I know I'm gonna have formula units on this side. So I can just quickly fill in. Anytime you get a two-stepper, we have this pattern. And I know I'm going to need grams, and of course this is for PBS. So formula units PBS. 
I know I'm going to have one mole here of PBS. Okay, and I'm going to have one mole of PBS on the bottom, like that. Okay. Now, uh, how many 4 million units are there? Well, go to our simulation here. Hit the next one. I'm going to click 4 million units. It says 2.45 E23. So 2.45 E23. Okay. Now, what am I going to do? Well, I'm in formula units here. In formula units, the 6.02 E23 number is going to be there. I'm going to abbreviate that F units. And on top, I want grams, so that means I'm just going to use my molar mass 239.3 grams of PBS. Okay, and that means I'm going to take 2.45 E23 divided by 6.02 E23. I need to multiply that by the molar mass of 239.3. And that's going to give me 97.5 grams. Okay. So that's how these work. You can practice some extra ones, okay, with the simulation. And the answers are going to be provided. So if I want the mass, 97.5, we did that. And if I want moles. So this balance truly is a unique balance. There are other questions you can practice. For instance, get the molar mass of K3N, and then you can answer questions. If I'm given this many formula units, how many moles is that? Or how many ma what mass is that? So you can practice, and then there's all the answers to it. And all the questions, okay, run like that. This is P2O5, which is diphosphorus pentoxide. So practice as you wish, and then there's, uh, like I said, all the answers. And you get the pick. Let's say I pick formula units this time. I want to know how many moles that is. Well, that's a one-stepper. So you can practice those and have all the answers.